Marsha, we find Yaakov preparing to meet Esau. After being away for so many years, Yaakov was not sure how Esau would react to seeing, to seeing him. The last time that they were together, Esau um, plotted to kill Yaakov. Now, as Yaakov entered back to the land of Canaan, he learned that Esau is coming to greet him with 400 men. In preparation, Yaakov splits his camp into two groups for war. Says a tefillah to Hashem and sends gifts to his brother. The hope is that Esau will see the gifts and as Rashi um, explains, we will see that the blessing that Esau was upset about, about did not come true. Once the two meet, Aesop asks Yaakov who the gifts are for, and when he learns that they will be for him, he'll say, I have a lot of stuff. In this way, Aesop is turning down his expensive gifts. Yaakov responds by saying, I have everything that I need. In the end, Aesop agrees to take the gifts, and they go on their way. Now, if you look at the story, one can ask the question. Just a few psukim earlier, Yaakov was going back across the river to collect a few small containers. It would not seem that he had all he needed as he was concerned about the little thing like that. Um, there is an amazing lesson here. One can have everything that they need and still be careful with the things that they have. Yaakov understood that Hashem had and always would give him everything that he needs. Therefore, he was happy with what he had, yet careful with it. We should learn from here to be thankful for everything that we have and treat everything that we have with respect. Shabbat shalom!